One of the easiest ways to create a one-to-many relationship is to use a tool called the Lookup Wizard. The wizard actually does two jobs for you. It creates the relationship, and when you're done, you can use the foreign key field to choose values from the table on the one side, or the parent table, of the relationship. This makes it easier to enter data. In our example, all we have to do is select a name that's the value on the one side and enter a phone number. When you use the wizard, you don't need a foreign key field in your child table because the wizard creates it for you. But if you already have a foreign key, that's okay. Go ahead and use it. Here's a sample database. It does not have a foreign key. To start, select the heading on the blank field or select the heading in your foreign key if you have one. Choose Lookup and Relationship, and the wizard starts. Use the first option to look up values from another table and select Next. Select the parent table, Customers, and then select Next. We need to look up the values in the Customer Name field, so select that and move it over. This is a calculated field. We used this field about a minute ago. Notice that it shows the entire name. This takes the guesswork out of choosing the right data. With a lookup field, data entry is faster and more accurate. Choose Next. Sort order is optional, so let's skip this and just select Next. As a rule, it's best to hide the key column because it just clutters up your database if it's visible so select Next. Here, let's name the field Customer ID FK, which indicates the parent field is Customer ID, and FK reminds us that this is a foreign key. Now let's select Enable Data Integrity and Cascade Delete. This is how you enable referential integrity and cascading deletes. Select Finish, and there is your field. Finally, let's make a change to the relationship. To do this, we need to close the phone numbers table. You can't change a relationship if one of the tables involved in that relationship is open. After we close the table, on the Database Tools tab, we select Relationships. We select the Relationship line, and then on the ribbon, we select Edit Relationships. You can see that Referential Integrity and Cascading Deletes are both selected. Let's also enable the middle option, Cascade Update Related Fields. Select OK, and we're done. We've now created a one-to-many relationship by using the Lookup Wizard. We've created the foreign key, and we've changed a relationship setting.